Hey guys, welcome to another video. Back at it again today. Just getting my day going. I've got a shake here. I do not have my little cup of Greek yogurt. And that's part of what I need to get done today. I need to get a, a lot of things kind of done. Um, errands wise, at least. Work wise, I don't have the busiest day. Um, so I should be able to get a lot of stuff done today. I need to go to the store, get some food, things I normally eat. Need to do like some laundry, get my hair cut, and uh, try to squeeze a leg workout in. So we'll see what all I can get done today. But uh, yeah, come along for the ride. All right. So it's like my third, fourth time trying to record this little this little uh, clip because my phone was full I didn't know and it kept just cutting it short and then I didn't even think it was recording because when I flipped it back around it wasn't recording so yeah figured that out hopefully this will work but I'm already at Kroger after training and I need to head in there get my food um the yogurt the couple little things I snack on and other things that I can fix to keep that food in me because honestly for the past week I haven't been eating very well. I haven't been getting enough calories in. Um, so I need to get back on top of that. Um, it's mostly because last week was like a deload week. So I wasn't pushing the workouts as hard. And I wasn't staying on top of uh, pretty much everything in general as much as I had been. So I need to snap back into it. Get back on track so that we can push the workouts and have good workouts coming up. Um, and yeah, this is pretty much first step, getting the food. So let's go do that. All right, so back from the store. Didn't get a ton of food because I didn't really take an inventory of what I actually had. So didn't want to end up buying a ton extra and then wasting a bunch of food. So um, got enough to make it to the weekend and then we'll reevaluate, restock again. But uh, yeah, that's that. Time to get on with the day, do some laundry. All right, so on a unrelated note to this video kind of, I ordered a new lens off of Facebook Marketplace, or I, I bought a new lens off Facebook Marketplace the end of December. Today is January, let's see, I think it's January 14th. Um, on my watch, yeah, January 14th, so this was priority mail two-day shipping, as you can see um, on the label there. And I knew it was going to take a while because U.S. Postal Service has been super backed up, especially um, it was shipping like right after the holidays, so they were still really busy and delayed, I'm sure. But the the kind of sketchy part was that they're tracking like the tracking number i kept checking it and it said it was delivered on like january 3rd obviously it was not um and myself and the seller both contacted uh, the postal service and they were like they were like yeah um our tracking whatever our tracking service online once it says delivered it won't update even if it's still being scanned and processed through the system um, so it just, I like couldn't get an update on it and you call the post service and I have to get on hold for like two hours to get a hold of somebody to get an update or whatever. But, uh, they kept saying it was in the system. It was in the system. It's going to make it there. It's just going to take a while. Cause it's like, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, it finally came. So it was a relief. So I'm about to open it up and see, um, hopefully it's in good condition the box looks fine so yeah just about to open it up here now luckily the uh the seller really packaged it well it was um well padded inside in the box the whole box was pretty much wrapped in tape so that was really good news um but yeah i got the 17 to 70 2.8 uh aperture sigma lens and it's pretty similar to the lens i already have uh the one i have now is 17 to 50 2.8 so this will just allow me to zoom in a little bit more basically um other than that it's pretty much the same lens for all intents and purposes and then this other one i have is 
30 millimeter 1.4 so this is kind of going to replace the 50 millimeter 1.8 lens i have um and that one really i like it a lot but it just doesn't focus that well the autofocus just isn't great and when i'm recording myself and i can't monitor the focus um gets a little annoying when you film a whole clip or whatever and then you go back, watch it back and it's out of focus like 80 percent of the time so hopefully that will be better the sigma lens i have now the autofocus is really good so hoping it's at least the same with this one um but yeah uh i have some food i just um cooked upstairs so it's cooling off i'm gonna go eat that um then got the laundry need to get that started and then we'll get back down here in the gym mess around with these new lenses and uh get a workout in so all in all a good day wasn't expecting that to come um well, i mean i kind of was i was hoping i was checking the mail every day hoping it would be here and it just wasn't and it wasn't and it wasn't but now it's here so that is good news um yeah that's a relief so let's go eat and get back to a workout all right, down in the gym now and about to start the work. I still have this older lens on here, the 17 to 50. Uh, and I'm gonna swap out, probably film most of the workout with the 30 millimeter lens today. Um, just cause I think those images are gonna look really crisp, crisp. So excited to see what that looks like. But the other thing is I ordered a little plate loaded pulley tower, like a single tower unit that I'm planning to put like right in the middle of this wall, right between the two dumbbell racks. So what I have to do is, and I started doing it yesterday, I have to re kind of configure that back corner because I have two desks back there now. And so I'm gonna get one of them out of here, shift that dumbbell rack down, and then I'll have room in the middle uh, for the pulley tower and then I'll be able to do all my stuff using the pulleys out here in the middle of the open floor so that's that the only kind of funny thing is like i literally ordered that pulley tower like the very beginning of december probably like december 8th or 9th or something and it's was supposed to be delivered yesterday actually and fedex is always terrible and they said they tried to make a delivery attempt they didn't but uh it wasn't delivered so hopefully it'll come today or tomorrow I'm, I wouldn't use it today even if it was here but to and tomorrow's my rest day so tomorrow will probably be spent reorganizing that getting that set up because hopefully it'll be there by then um, and yeah but uh, it's just kind of funny that the shipment with the lenses was lost for like however long it was lost for and then that uh, the, the uh, gym equipment stuff wasn't lost it was just like Obviously, the stock on all that stuff is crazy right now. It's back order forever. But it would be funny if they both ended up showing up on the same day after, like, all of that. So, just thought that was kind of funny. But, going to hop into squats now. And then, I'll do quads and finish with hamstrings. But, here we go. the new lens doing really well just I mean obviously just looking at the images on this little LCD screen but uh, they look really crisp and smaller aperture numbers gonna give you a more shallow depth of field so like you can see I'm in focus right now and then the backgrounds really blurred and out of focus so that creates really crisp images and then this it also does really well in low light it lets in a lot of light so low lights which is 
obviously indoors here um, it's doing really well it's like the ISO is really low right now if I bring it to like a normal range it's really bright so um, that's really nice and uh, so far so good we'll see how it looks once I like import it on my computer but expecting it to look really well and uh, let's get on a little bit more squatting and then we'll move on to the rest of the leg workout Running out of time here, um, and this is the same thing that happened to my squat workout or my leg workout on Monday. Um, I keep thinking because I'm not doing like a full-on powerlifting squat day, it's not going to take that long. But legs just take a long time in general, so we're not going to be able to get in as much work as we thought. I only have like 10 minutes left here, so I'm going to do. I've done a little bit of quad, so I'll do a, a hamstring dominant circuit. I'm probably going to keep doing the, the uh, Bulgarian split squats, probably just without weight, and then I'll do hamstring curls on my machine and Romanian deadlifts, and I'm going to do all of that with BFR bands on. So it's going to be pretty brutal, um, especially on the hamstring, so I'll probably start with the split squats and then go hamstring, hamstring. So let's get it. Get it over with. getting ready that's being delivered so boom put that up put that together tomorrow and we'll be good to go as you can see it's quite a mess but you saw that my uh, package got delivered this pulley tower and I took about I don't even know how long it'll focus on that but it took a while to find this little adapter on the back side of this yeah there we go so it took a while to find this but now I have this and I can throw it in the drill over here and bolt everything together much much more quickly so <laughs> it's, it's kind of a disaster right now but I got a little bit of help moving my dumbbell rack slide it down a little bit 
unfortunately I'm gonna have to move the other one down a little bit uh, as well but I'll be able to assemble it right now and uh, yeah see y'all after it's put together got it put together um, still got the boxes right there behind me that uh, need to take care of tomorrow but uh yeah it is like nine o'clock right now I haven't eaten dinner so gotta go do that <laughs> as I was talking about earlier in this video I haven't been eating enough food um, but I mean once I get dinner I'll be back on track so um, yeah happy I got that together um, like I said I'm gonna have to shift the other dumbbell rack this one down a little bit because as you can see the loading pin it fits right there but the loading pin is really close and up in the rafters it can't go any farther left so gotta shift that over but I have room to do it so just gotta actually do it but uh gonna save that one for tomorrow I'll have to finish doing that get the uh that cleanup work done I'd still need to bolt it to the wall so there's that and then I have the one desk behind me here that I am getting rid of luckily that's one I made and the legs um, just come off I just take a bolt out and the legs pop off so it'll be easier to just store away since I'm not gonna be using it but yeah do all that tomorrow so Got my hair cut. Feels good to have the hair just barely off the ears there. But um, yeah, now it's time to mount this pulley system to the wall. So um, the bolts that it came with, the like concrete anchors, were pretty big. And I don't have a drill bit for them, but I have some old concrete anchors. They're not in the best shape, but they're they'll definitely work um, and I have a drill bit that will drill a good size hole for them because I used to have my old squat rack bolts to the ground with them and I use this bit so I know it fits it works um, so yeah just gotta make sure that the systems level and straight up and down and then we'll get it screwed into the wall and secured so that's what we're doing now okay so I need to wrap this video up it has been a little bit of a chaotic video probably because yesterday, the start of this video, um, I had a plan in mind of things I needed to get done and things I wanted to do and whatnot and I don't know, I guess I got my workout in even though I had to rush to finish it. Um, but it ended up being a good workout and then assembling this tower I didn't know if it was gonna be here or not so I wasn't really expecting it but I wanted to do that obviously to just get it done and I got it done assembled yesterday and then mounting it to the wall today was more challenging than I thought because the anchors the concrete anchors they sent with it to mount it I didn't have a drill bit the correct size to use that but I had those older ones and I used those but then concrete anchors are designed to go like three three inches directly into concrete and expand and hold tight um, but I'm drilling into a cinder block wall so cinder blocks are hollow in the middle so you got like an inch and then hollow so it was able to work out but I had to make spacers and then I was like running around trying to problem, problem solve but all in all I got uh, my food at the store I got that tower assembled and it's working and it's good. I got my haircut today. Um, I got the gym rearranged and I got it pretty much cleaned back up. Probably gonna finish that tomorrow just before I uh, kind of get my workout just because there's kind of equipment scattered around just where I had to move it a little bit. So yeah, but <laughs> that's, that's the video. That's just how things go sometimes. Uh, I just... I tried to plan out my day and it just didn't go to plan but we still got everything done probably not the most efficient way possible but it is what it is uh, appreciate y'all watching if you're still here at this point of the video um, yeah leave a like on the video hit that like button 
subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.